Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be July favorites already, and I start school in like the end of the month, so I'm not really that excited for it to be August, but I guess I'll just like not rant about school and talk about like my favorites of the month. So I guess the first thing I'm going to say is that my favorite is obviously going to be Champagne Pop. I can open it. Okay, so this is Champagne Pop, which is actually my first um, ever Becca product, and I'm pretty happy that it's this one. Don't look at that, that's like earlier swatch. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see that, but anyways. Yeah, so I was so happy to get this, and when I bought this, I was actually able to meet Jaclyn Hill at the same time, which was pretty cool, because at um, the Sephora in Union Square was having a meet and greet, so it was pretty awesome being able to meet her. She's so nice, and she's so pretty. Her makeup looks so much better in person than I could ever imagine, and while we were waiting in line, they gave us a little Becca Jaclyn Hill button. That says champagne pop on it, if you can see that. Yeah, so they gave us this free little button. They gave us like a whole bunch of samples of these and like a little bottle of the liquid highlighters. They also gave us a really good picture of her face. I kind of don't need a picture of her face. Um, more samples and like a free facial. And they also gave out water to us and candy. And I'm going to tell you this, that was like the longest wait for like a meet and greet ever. It took me about, I would say, two and a half hours for like a line to get the ticket. And then like another two and a half hours to actually wait in line after you got the ticket to meet her. And it was raining so hard. Like it was like, like a waterfall. It was so hard. I was so glad I actually bought an umbrella with me because I would have been drenched. Um, but I, it was totally worth it meeting her and I don't really have a problem with the rain so it didn't bother me too much. And yeah, awesome highlighter. It's the one I'm wearing today on my face. And this is like really awesome I love it and I'm glad that this is my first ever Becca product. Okay, the next thing I have... Um, I think I'll just like stick with makeup and then I'll go to skincare. Is this Elizabeth Arden Sunkissed Pearls Bronze Highlighter? Bronze and highlighter. The only reason I bought this because the packaging was like, or like the design in it was so cool. And this is like a, you can't really see it that well, but it's a very sheer pink highlight. And then you have. A lighter bronze color yeah kind of can hardly see this you have a light bronze and then like a darker bronze but I just take like a big powder brush and like swirl it all together and use it as a bronzer that way and it gives me like this really nice glow to my face and this is also what I'm wearing on my face most of it most of my favorites I did put on my face so you can actually like see it um, let's see what else okay my next favorite, this is like, I totally forgot about this and then I remembered it so I started using it. And this is the Dior Rosy Glow, Rosy Glow Blush. And it looks like this. And this blush, they said it's supposed to be, like it reacts to your pH balance or level, whatever it is. So it might look a little bit different on everybody who uses it. And I really love it because it's a pretty, in... If you can see it, hold on. I don't know if you can't really see it. This light is not helping. But it's a pretty intense blush when you first use it. But then after like a little bit, it will start to like either lighten or get darker. Depends on who you are. Sometimes my blush looks a little bit more darker than usual. And then sometimes it'll look a little bit more lighter. Like right now, it doesn't look too like bright like it typically does. But that's also the blush I'm wearing today. My next favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, 
which looks like this and I also use this on my face and it gave me like a super natural contour because it's a cream product and I do have dry skin so it just works better with my face I would think so and um, yeah the reason I bought this I wasn't like interested in buying it because I remember hearing people saying that the creams were so stiff and hard to work with which I do agree I don't have like an oil that I can use to mix with it to make it a little bit more creamier um, I will definitely look into that if you guys have any suggestions just leave it down below maybe like rose oil I don't know if that would work but um, if you have any suggestions just let me know um, yeah and the only reason I bought this because of Macy's it was like $25 instead of like 40 bucks and then I used Ebates and then I actually used it for the first time. I didn't think it was going to work because everybody says, Oh yeah, use it. Here, use my link. It actually really works and I got like $7 back. So 25 minus 7 is like $19 or something. Um, yeah, I think so. So I kind of paid $19 for this and that was pretty awesome. If you can tell, I really like this banana shade because it definitely does highlight my face for someone who's so fair like me. Let's see. Next favorite is the new Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. And this is the mascara I'm using today, which this is in the color Bodacious Black Honey. And I'm telling you this, I love this mascara. If you can see, the color of the tube is pretty much the color you're going to get. The color is so pigmented because some colored mascaras they go on really like sheer and it's kind of hard to build up the color like the Dior show mascara in like navy blue I like no color would show up at all it just like it was a terrible mascara for me and I'm so happy that this one actually works it does get a little bit clumpy on like one of my eyes for some reason but I just use like a comb to like comb it out like an eyelash comb and it just looks so nice it definitely lengthens and fattens your lashes and I especially love this on the bottom lower lashes because it just gives me like that dolly kind of look especially when I use a white eyeliner and that white eyeliner I've been using is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk because this one is so creamy and it goes on so easy without like poking your eye or tugging on it and it's so pigmented as everybody knows because this is also a great eyeshadow base so I just love that this is multi-purpose for me now because I typically thought it was too big to use as an eyeliner but it just works just as good and these two are awesome this is only $17 which I feel like for a high-end mascara is really good especially for the quality and pigmentation of the colors it's just like on point and I'm definitely gonna go get the green one and the navy one I think I'm just gonna get all the colors in the black one too yeah I just really like this and you can get it to four, obviously. Okay, next one is an old eyeliner I had, and I decided to use it today because I was using the mascara. And this is the Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner, Long Lasting Eyeliner. I'm not gonna pronounce the other French words because I don't speak French. And this eyeliner is in a burgundy color. I'm gonna put it right here. If you can see it's kind of it's like a burgundy muted kind of color and I used it today and I was like oh wow I really like it and then the reason I'm sharing it with the the, yeah, the reason I'm sharing it with you now is because how cool is this it's a sharpener so you can actually sharpen your mechanical eyeliner because I hate it when mechanical eyeliners get like all round and stubby and then you can't even use it because it's like not precise enough and it doesn't like apply color as well so I was so happy to discover this has a sharpener on it I don't remember the price obviously it's Chanel so it's expensive probably like 20 maybe 29 dollars I don't know I don't want to know because now that I like it so much I want the other colors and I don't have the money to pay for it right now Okay, let's see. My next makeup favorite is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in, what is this, blonde, light medium. And I really like it because it does hold my eyebrows very well, but it also tints it. And I would say this is pretty blonde. Um, 
my hair is a little bit redder if you can actually see it so I just like keeping my eyebrows looking a little bit more blondish because they're not entirely dark but they're just like very neutral brown so I just like to lighten my brows up with this and it works out perfectly let's see what else I got I'm trying to think what else do I have um let's see okay I'll do the skincare first and this is like okay this is a orange face sheet mask from Nature Republic and the first time I used this I was like blown away by how good it looked it was like how do you say um more like it was very brightening and luminous on your face when you take it off and my makeup had never looked better the next day I was like oh it's my foundation and then I did the same look and it wasn't my foundation it was a sheet mask and this one only cost two dollars at the nature Republic store there is one in Flushing and there's also one in Chinatown so if you don't live in New York City I think they have a website for this brand and if I can find it then I'll let you know but this one is pretty hard to come by because it's always sold out and at the store it comes in a pack of 10 because it's that good so they have this flavor flavor um, as like a big pack and it's cheaper if you buy it in a pack so this one is like the best like the best sheet mask ever it looks so good and it doesn't like bother my skin because I have sensitive eczema skin so it hasn't bothered me at all it looks so luminous and glowy and it just makes my makeup look like a hundred percent better it looks so good like ah and it's only two dollars I can't get over that this is my last one so I need to go pick up more I didn't use it because I wanted to show you guys but this is like this is it that's it that's all I need to know that's it okay another mask I've been liking I actually got a sample of the Bosha luminizing black mask okay and this mask is a peel off mask so it goes on black and shiny and you have to let it dry completely before you decide to peel it off and I would say this one was a little bit hard to peel off but I really did feel like it got all the junk and gunk out of my nose and it just looks so good so when I run out of this little sample I'm definitely gonna go pick up the full size and the full size is like $34 but I just usually use it on my nose cuz um that's where I get like the most gunk and stuff in my nose and yes I really really like it and this I got at Sephora for a 500 point perk I got like four other things um, the other stuff I'm not that crazy about, I really like the mask the most from this collection. Okay, another favorite or like my last beauty favorite, I would say is this body spray in the flavor Paris Amour from Bath & Body Works. And I went because I had a coupon and I was dying for some candles. So I got one for my room which is the Amsterdam, the new one they have the tulips and windmills and then I got a eucalyptus and mint for my living room and uh, I just love the way this smells it's very like fruity floral and romantic this is like the scent I wore all through middle school and I love it so much so many memories I will spray some right now ah. I love the way it smells it smells so good I love the packaging I think I'll get like the other stuff to it like the perfume that they have for it because I really like this okay. and that was it for my beauty favorites I have one like fashion favorite right now a pair of shoes that I just got at that I got like maybe a week or two ago at Aldo and these are these super tall gladiator heeled shoes like this I can't even fit this on screen they look like this I have the other one I will say they're a pain in the ass to take off. It's easier to put on, but like it's the worst trying to take it off. But they look so good. And I really want it in the nude color, but the nude is sold out online. And I don't know, I haven't been to enough stores to check for the nude. But I think it is even more on sale. These I got these half off for like 60 something dollars. And I think on sale online that they have like an extra 25% off sale. So then that's gonna be like $40. 
and I really, 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 really want to get the nude because I don't have any nude shoes. I always have black shoes even though I like wearing colorful stuff so I wear black a lot but I think a nude option will be more beneficial for like my bright colors just to like balance it out and let's see I think that was it for my favorites oh another favorite I have actually is is actually snapchat um, I do post kind of often. I really love watching other people's posts like um, Lester Lux or Desi Perkins. I think they're hilarious. And I really like Snapchat because it's like reality TV because it's actually what's going on in people's lives behind the scenes. And I follow like a lot of YouTubers and stuff so I think it's just so funny just to see what they're actually doing and stuff. And yes. My name is uh, rainbow underscore underscore goddess at snapchat so you can follow me there i will just leave the link down below and also if you want to check out my poshmark i do sell a lot of my clothes especially stuff that i got while working in zara like hard to find stuff so i sell those there too and my closet's actually been getting quite popular i go to the post office like at least four times a week now so <laughs> At least I'm not complaining people are buying my stuff that I don't use or wear anymore. So if you want, you can also check that out. I have Instagram as well. And I will also leave the links for everything else down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any comments or questions or something else, I don't know, or whatever. Um, yeah, just leave them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.